Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is official. It's been announced. We've even got a reveal trailer. Um, and it's going to be coming out later this year in November. Can you believe? <laughs> November is just a couple of months ago. It feels like Modern Warfare 2 just came out. So yeah, Modern Warfare 3 has been announced, confirmed, and it's coming out in November, a couple of months away. And we're going to take a look at it in this, trail in this video. Take a look at the trailer in this video, or the preview. And um, yeah, let's get hyped up for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. And I think... Good news! It's going to be based off the 2009 Modern Warfare 2. It's going to have a, it's going to bring back a lot of maps from that game. It's going to bring back a lot of little features from that game. I want the I want the heartbeat sensor on the side of the gun, the flip out heartbeat sensor that was in Modern Warfare 2, and the nuke, the suitcase nuke. Bring it back, please, Activision. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into it. And let's talk about Modern Warfare 3. So, in case I didn't say, I'm blaze 2 k we cover gaming, handheld gaming, um, just gaming and tech in general. And if you love all that sort of stuff, please click subscribe and click the bell icon down below. It really, really helps out. All right, there we go. Click the subscribe, click the like on this video and click the bell icon. So let's take a look at the news. So Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 has confirmed for November launch. 2023's Call of Duty will be fully revealed in Warzone. Mm -hmm, okay, um, let's take a look at the trailer real fast. Oh. It's kind of heads off snakes. He's not no. He's not no. He's not no. Kung heads off snakes. Bury your enemies alive. Never bury your enemies alive. I'm Soap McTavish. One more first three. Let's go. Woo! Ah, November 10th. November 10th. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay, there we go, guys. So, Modern Warfare 3, November 10th. Um, and it's surprising we're getting a Modern Warfare 3 right after Modern Warfare 2. But I think I think the consensus is we like current gen and modern warfare over World War One and World War Two. I think World War One and Two are done, dusted. I'm tired of them. I'm sick. I'm sick of the M1. What was it? M1A1 Garand or whatever. You know, the, all those old modern war, uh, all those World War One and Two guns. I don't want to play them anymore. And I also don't want to go futurist, super futuristic with jetpacks and stuff. I mean, look at Battlefield 2142. Look how much of a failure that was. Um, even then, it wasn't too far into the future. I just not big into future warfare games that are too futuristic with jetpacks and all that crap. So hopefully they're leaning more towards Modern Warfare 2, sort of current gen, current timeline sort of stuff, you know. That's what I like more. Anyways, Activision has officially confirmed this year's Call of Duty will be a direct sequel to last year's game. And this is from a different studio as well, so that's going to be interesting. And given it a release date, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 will arrive on November 10th, according to a brief teaser for the game's game released on Monday. That teaser warns the ultimate threat awaits in Modern Warfare 3, and all signs point to classic Call of Duty bad guy Vladimir Makarov. Makarov! In the 41 second teaser, we hear Modern Warfare's mustachioed super soldier, John Price. John Price. Um... Oh, it's not soaping to have a shit. Yeah, price. Um, warning against burying your enemies alive just before the teaser shows what appears to be a stylized waveform image of Makarov's face. Last year, Call of Duty included a post-credits teaser cinematic that appeared to show a Russian terrorist force about to take over a commercial flight with Makarov warning his agents no Russian. That's, of course, a callback to the infamous level of the same name from the 2009's Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, which we played on stream on this channel just last late last year in which russian terrorists slaughtered dozens of people at moscow uh, moscow airport uh, the teaser includes a phone number that when texted offers the following response calm secured major conflict incoming a lot of opportunity we need someone like you with experience in al -Mazra. Um are you able to receive sensitive intel yes no upon responding yes good expect mission critical intel a taste of what's to come the text exchange then delivers the following image mm. Mm, interesting is that a new Warzone map by any chance? Hmm. In July, Activision confirmed that Call of Duty 2023, as it was called at the time, will be revealed in Call of Duty Warzone in August as part of a limited time event. The above image appears to be a clue about how players will experience Modern Warfare 3 reveal in Warzone, which is expected to happen on August 17th. So mark that in your calendars. August 17th, we're going to see a Modern Warfare 3 reveal in Warzone, which is going to be kind of cool. Activision has not confirmed platforms for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, but it's likely to come to the same platforms that Modern Warfare 2 did. PS4, PS5, Windows PC, Xbox One, and Xbox 
Xbox Series X. Question is, is it coming to the Nintendo Switch? Because as we know, the Activision Microsoft merger that's going to be happening very soon or the acquisition, I should say, has been pretty much cleared by everyone. Um, so I wonder if it's going to be cleared in time for them to get this on the Switch. Probably not. Don't hold your breath. But yeah, I'm looking forward to checking this out. Um, also, another tidbit about Modern Warfare 3 that you might not have known. If you don't follow me on Twitter or X.com, you can now. Blaze2KX. Blaze2KX on X.com or Twitter, whatever you want to call it. But... Modern Warfare 3, rumors about Modern Warfare 3, it will feature Modern Warfare 2 2009 multiplayer maps. Oh, I love Modern Warfare 2, one of my favorite games. Um, red dots on the mini-map, again, nice. Bringing back the old classic things. Reload cancel returns, slide cancel returns, ninja returns as a perk. Uh, perks will be gear. Um, war mode will return and outbreak zombies mode. So there we go, some Modern Warfare 3 tidbits for you guys, and obviously the new logo. Um, I like the red. I love the red to it. So there we go. Let me know what you think. Are you excited? Do you think it's going to be a bust? Are you holding, you're not holding your breath? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, I love you and I appreciate you. I'm Blaze to keep me cover gaming tech, all that good stuff on this channel on a daily basis. Come join us. Click the subscribe, click the bell icon and come follow me as well over on Twitter or X, whichever you want to call it. I'm Blaze 2KX. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.